At the hayride, LaToya spills some tea. She says that Tanya has actually gone home to Canada. <laughs> Tanya is in Canada. So she fled the sea. <laughs> what? She fled the country. First of all, she fled the country. She, she oh, fled the country. <laughs> she literally fled the country. Kenya ain't no damn body. Ain't nobody running from no damn Kenya. That's why when she was like, oh, she fled out the country, that girl went to go see her father. Like, nobody is running from Kenya. I will not let Kenya think she's so important enough and whatever lie she's making up enough for anybody to be running anywhere. Like, it's just not that serious. I had a totally different reaction to the initial rumor from Tanya. Tanya was really, really upset about it. She's okay, making actually, disparaging comments about like, me and you involving a, a strip. Whereas I was like, Kenya. Girl, whatever, I'm gonna go to dinner. This is so ridiculous. So I think it just continued where I just didn't give a you don't got to explain this I mean, hard. I have to explain it. And she did. I spent the night in this girl's room. Mm hmm OK. And she decided to separate herself for whatever reason. And at the end of the day, what, is somebody going to go to jail? What, what exactly is supposed to happen to these people? Well, I don't know. I was in court, so. I have heard you were being spanked by someone's tongue. Ooh. God. Let's not ignore the elephant in the room. Kenya is an asshole for doing that and causing such a sweet person whose energy we all enjoy not to feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't blame nobody else besides that one. Have any of you ladies talked to Tanya since the South Carolina trip? Yeah, I miss Tanya. You know, I got to know her on the trip. Uh, she was really sweet. She had great energy, super smart, beautiful. And I, I reached out to her a few times, like, girl, where you at? Like, where's your energy? Miss you. And she was just like, I'll be back soon. You know, always responded. Um, but yeah, didn't see her. As a matter of fact, I still text with Tanya time to time because we're both doing IVF and we're both trying to, you know, move forward with having babies and stuff. So we have a lot of things in common. Um, and I have seen her and, and we talked a little bit and we kikied like, there's nothing but love there. She's a great person. However, yeah. as Portia's best friend, I did feel like she kind of left her high and dry and left her to just kind of pick up the pieces. It only points to you and Tanya. It's not true. When really, Portia could have gave a damn because she's single and she's able to date whoever or screw whoever, however, whenever. And I felt like she was going the extra mile to dispel those rumors because of Tanya and because of how it could affect her relationship because she is engaged. Are you coming in here it, asking me a question, has, has perpetuating a lie has, that you know Kenya is continuing is. with? So for me, I felt like Tanya should have also been there to, you know, lead the march on, hey, you know, this ain't ha this didn't happen. Not just leave Portia high and dry to like just deal with it all by herself. I didn't like it. She dipped out on the group. She never dipped out on me because we continued to talk. So I knew where she was. I right, okay, cool. When she left to go to Canada, when she came back and all that. Like, I knew right, all Right, okay. Because you know that's not clear. Like, people don't know that. That we were still talking the whole time? The group don't. That you guys were communicating. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so like, for know. us, oh, okay. we see me, I see her not coming back and you just kind of high and dry. For me, I didn't think it was a big deal for me to come tell the group that I'm still talking to her or not talking to her because y'all have y'all own relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have several friendships groups. And if this is one she doesn't want to be a part of because of Kenya, then shit, what am I supposed to do about it? You know what will really make things better at this point? And not even necessarily for me, but just for her even because you just shouldn't be okay with somebody putting that kind of stuff out there about you and you not, you know, say anything or just, you just kind of allow it. it, you know? She put on her Instagram that it wasn't true and that, you know, these rumors are false or whatever. Yeah, that's my thing. Like, you gotta say, you gotta fight. You know, like, they always say fight or flight. I am not the runner. I'm finna stay and fight. We gonna knock if you buck until we, you know. Somebody's gonna <laughs> drop out in a minute. But not everybody, not everybody's not like that. Oh, that's true. 
That's true. I think sometimes you got to protect your aura. You know what I mean? That's something somebody told me that I really stand true to. Because I know sometimes I have people around me and when it changes your energy, it's just not good for you. So that's what I see. I see Tanya, she's looking happy. Like she looks so damn happy. And I'm like, she might be somebody that's not a fighter. That's just like, let me protect my aura and my space so that I can keep progressing. But nonetheless, she made her decision to dismiss herself from the false allegations and the craziness, and the drama and all the negativity. But yeah, I definitely missed her presence uh, being around the group. Kenya, as the season progresses, it continues to bother you that Candy stayed silent about what happened at the bachelorette party. I'm not gonna be like made a villain because I spoke the truth. If other people do not want to talk about what they heard or saw, then that's on them. Well, why was it so important for you to have her back you up, even though she clearly didn't want to talk about it? I think she should have had my back. I mean, listen, Candy has had my back before. A lot of people, you know, don't know that initially when I started this show, Phaedra and I were cool and Candy and I, I've always respected Candy. Kenny is one of those girls that we kind of came up in the 90s. We were famous and celebrities before Real Housewives of Atlanta. I knew who Candy was and I was a fan. Um, yes, Cynthia, we know you were a model, but you weren't a household name. Candy was and I was. That's too. okay. I was well known in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my flowers? Okay, Can you, you give me my flowers? You were, you were, <laughs> you were, you were, but we're not talking about you right now. I've so, several anyway, covers you know, I love you and respect okay, you. Go ahead. It's not about me. Okay. I'm going to save my shady comment for later. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> so throughout my journey on the show, I've always, you know, I've always liked Candy. We'd never really had any tension. But when I was accused of starting a sit the situation in Miami. I've been trying to talk to you all day. You've been really weird. You have made other people feel uncomfortable here. I just want you to leave. Little bitch, I don't play none of that shit, little bitch. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Everyone was trying to go against me and blame me for stuff. Everybody's completely comfortable with this man. All of a sudden, but the it's thing an is issue. If, if people not playing Kenya's game, she doesn't want him around. Like, well, she's three right. yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, That's the thing. true. Candy, basically, who wasn't even really close to me at the time, she also felt the same way because she was pregnant and she saw all of this other stuff that was going on. And when I tell you, she took up for me like no one else. Regardless of whether you like Kenya or not, and she, regardless of whether she should have said anything else as he was walking out the door, he should never have aggressively turned around, start throwing up gang signs, calling her all kind of bitches, and like he was gonna do something to her. And he was. It, it shouldn't have happened. Why y'all buying y'all song now? She was like, y'all don't know what you're talking about. The guy is crazy. And then when the show aired, then you saw all of his crazy. And then I was justified. But they would never say, well, you know, Kenya, you were right. They kept trying to make me this villain in the situation. We have security and that security could have been able to justify Ow, somebody's action. You kept action. pushing him until you got a reaction. But, but, and Kenya really took up for me. I will never forget that. And that was the start of our, a real bond between us and a real friendship between us. I just didn't understand why she wouldn't take up for me with a situation by just simply saying, yeah, I heard noises too. Did you hear something? Uh, uh, uh. She didn't have to tell on anyone, but she could have at least just said, yeah, I heard the noises too. That, that's just where I was with the situation. Leading up to Cynthia's wedding, Portia, you were a little anxious about Dennis being there too. If you tell me tonight, like, right. I really do not want Dennis to come to this wedding, right. I will take it back to Mr. Hill and he would have to respect it. I, I think that's my request as of now. Um, I feel like it was just a little awkward to go to her wedding with my fiance or ex-fiance at the time. I can't remember if we were like all the way done or what yet at that moment. Yeah, y'all broken up. 
Yeah, we were broken up for sure, but I can't remember if we had like ex the fiance thing out the way. But all I know is that we were not together and I just felt like it was going to be uncomfortable. Some days were on, some days were not, you know, or whatever. And you never know how it's going to fall. So I don't want to get locked into either way, you know. And in the beginning of the summer, I had locked it in, like, we're going together, this is what it is. But as we kept going more downhill with the relationship, that's when I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to start cleaning this up a bit. And that's when I went to Cynthia to ask her not to invite him. I'm <laughs> leaning on you and your coochie credit to make sure that this happens <laughs> for me. <laughs> then this one, I went to him, like, I'm trying to get you invited. And he was like, no, those are my friends too. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and we're a public couple, so I don't think people really get that part. Our ups and our downs have been in the press already. And so I don't really like to play with it and be at the wedding like we're together, but then the next minute we're not together. I was really over all of that up and down. So I really didn't necessarily want pictures to be taken of us together and people to be thinking that we were together because we weren't. You know, everybody doesn't really get that him and I can adult the way we adult. So I didn't want to play with yeah. it being up and down. Latoya, you and Kenya get into your first fight in South Carolina. Why are we investigating a girl's thing? Because I wanted to. Simple as that. But you get back in her good graces with a beautiful cake. Kenny! She was so upset and when people are upset with me, I try to do whatever it takes to just make them happy. Yo, well, I apologize, apologize for touching you. Okay. All right. So can I touch you now? No. So I brought her a cake. Oh my gosh. Candy, did you know the way to Kenya's heart was through desserts? Um, it's, it's definitely the way to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it worked. We're eating cake, but I really would like to just smash this cake in your face right now. Why? And not in a good way. Anyone who knows me knows. My Achilles heel is bakery cake from this particular store here in Georgia. I cannot buy an entire cake because I will eat the entire cake in one yes. sitting. So I just buy the slice. <laughs> so when she came with this particular cake that I love, I was just like, okay, now my defenses are down. I can't resist that cake. <laughs> she loves her sweets. <laughs> I feel like we haven't had many disagreements, but when we do, we forgive each other and move on. You know, a lot of people think that Kenya is this mean girl, but she is just so sweet. She's understanding, she's lovable, she's kind. And whenever I need something, I know that I can confide in K Kenya. I know that I can reach out to her with whatever I need. So I can always depend on Kenya. She's a great friend to me.